Number 12. Make a list for grocery shopping. Have you ever gone to the grocery store and only bought what you needed? Most likely, the answer is no. But it's not your mistake. Customers are drawn to supermarkets by carefully placing products and hard-to-resist sales. However, there is a way to resist this impulse buying. Before you leave the house to go grocery shopping, make sure you have listed everything you need. The list preparation process can go on for a week. Write down what you're running low on every time you realize it and finally go to the grocery store with that list and cross off every item. So you won't buy anything unnecessarily. Number 11. Don't be a brand loyalist. Being a brand loyalist is the fastest way to go broke. Suppose someone buys a service or product repeatedly, no matter what. The seller knows this person doesn't care about prices so they can easily take advantage of their loyalty by charging them higher prices. So start looking for better deals and you'll be surprised after knowing how many good services and products you can find at better prices. You can save a lot of money while shopping by following this tip. Being loyal to a company might not get you a better deal, and it could cost you a lot more in most cases. Stick with companies whose prices are fair and whose services and products are the best. Number 10. Maintain a planner. You can use a planner to figure out how much you need to save each month from reaching your goals. Most planners let you add pictures of the things you are saving money for, and people say that pictures will make you more likely to reach your goals. Give it a try, and let us know how it goes. Number 9. Live below your means. You'd be surprised at how often people spend more than they make instead of living below their means. They are going out to eat more often, buy expensive things, and go into the debt trap to fulfill their wants. To save money, you first need to figure out where you are breaking the budget. Take Warren Buffett as an example. Being one of the wealthiest people in the world, he still lives in the house he bought in 1958 for $31,500 and has lived there for the past few decades. If he wants, he can buy mansions and private islands without any problem, but Warren Buffett lives below his means. Number 8. Reduce the power usage. If you've had a family, you will spend a lot of money on electricity. Even though this is inevitable, you can quickly lower the amount by following the below tips. Use natural light, there is no better light than the sun, and it doesn't cost anything. Use energy-efficient modes on appliances. Do the laundry only when it is complete, so you don't need to use the washing machine frequently, and it will save power. Switch from incandescent to LED bulbs, which reduces power consumption. These tips will save money and also be good for the environment. Number 7. Make your coffee by yourself. Your sugary and caffeinated Starbucks coffee is the best thing about your morning, and that coffee cup might not seem like a problem for your money-saving plan, but it is. Here's another example of Warren Buffett's habit. Every morning, he eats a breakfast that costs no more than $3.50. You can do much better than this billionaire. Instead of getting the coffee from a coffee shop or eating breakfast, lunch, or dinner out, think about how much cheaper it would be to make it home. Over a year, you can save a lot of money by making your food. Before I show you the more exciting and valuable money-saving tips, please hit the like button. And if you find the video useful at any point, subscribe to encourage my efforts. Thank you. Number 6. Reevaluate costly expenses. Now and then, you should look at the costs that take up most of your income. Check your bank statements to see where you spent the most and find ways to save money. Come up with alternatives. Take the time to compare different insurance companies, refinance your home loan, and all other services. You can save thousands of dollars. You can also find apps that have deals and discounts to save you some money. Think about everything you spend money on, like your internet and cell phone service providers. Number 5. Use cash, not credit. While most of us prefer the convenience of a credit card for everyday purchases, it's also tempting to pull out your credit card every time you want to buy something. But in the long run, it will hurt you if you use credit card for everything. Nothing can ever take the place of hard cash. But it depends on how you think about it. The money you carry in your wallet is something you can touch and you know how much each dollar in your pocket is worth. On the other hand, if you use a credit card, you are spending money you don't have. Buffett also prefers using hard cash, and this method may sound a bit old school, but it is a fantastic way to ensure you stay within your budget. Number 4. The 50-30-20 Rule Suppose you need to know which budget plan will work best for you. I recommend you implement the 50-30-20 Rule. It is a simple rule that helps you to save money while ensuring you have enough money to enjoy life. It tells you to divide your in-hand income into three parts. 50% of the income goes to needs like food and necessary bills, 30% to wants, and 20% to savings and investing. This budget plan will help to balance your needs, wants, and saving goals. Number 3. Differentiate between wants and needs. One reason why people are broke is they cannot differentiate between their wants and needs, but there is a massive difference between them. If you look at your list of expenses, you'll notice that many wants have accidentally slipped into the needs category. To save money, you need to separate your wants from your needs. Do you need to go to that concert? Do you need those premium subscriptions? Ask yourself before paying for anything. Number two, 
the 30-day rule. With ATMs, credit cards, and online shopping, spending has become so easy and convenient. Most of the time, we spend money on things we don't need. So whenever you want to buy a costly item or shop online, take 30 days to think about it. Add that shirt, expensive phone, or gaming system to your cart and leave the site. When you have more time to think about it, you'll know whether you need this item. If you can't wait a month, try waiting a day or a week. It will help you to avoid making impulse purchases. Number one, check yourself. If you want to save money, the first thing you have to do is to change the way you think. Most people think it's good to use all resources carefully and effectively. Even though this is true, we should be careful not to be too frugal. Focusing on making money, saving, and investing is the best way to get an excellent financial mindset. Some people think they don't have the money and can't buy the things they want and are afraid of failing or losing. But people with a prosperous mindset make decisions based on what they can do and are optimistic about money and their future. What sort of mind do you have? Do you worry about what you don't have right now or do you try to make the best of what you have? Comment below. Friends, I hope you got to learn something from this video. Please subscribe and hit the like button for more content like this. Thank you for giving your valuable time.